The miniature Schnauzer was bred down from the standard Schnauzer and is the smallest of the three Schnauzer breeds. The miniature Schnauzer was originally bred to protect farmlands and hunt rats. However, their ratting days are long gone, because they are now one of the most popular companion dogs, and consistent winners at dog shows, all over the world. Furthermore, of the three Schnauzer breeds, the miniature Schnauzer has consistently ranked highest in popularity worldwide. As a matter of fact, out of 197 breeds, the miniature Schnauzer is ranked the 18th most popular dog breed for the year 2021, by the American Kennel Club. Nonetheless, a miniature schnauzer's personality will vary from dog to dog. Some are feisty, stubborn, and yappy, and some are gentle, calm, and quiet. So if you purchase a puppy, it's difficult to tell what type of mini schnauzer you'll get, because there is such a wide variety in temperament. However, in general, the breed is intelligent, friendly, spunky, energetic, and blends in nicely with most households. But, we know that the disadvantages of owning some pets may outweigh the advantages. So, let's determine if this is the case for the miniature schnauzer, by exploring the pros and cons, of owning one. Let's start with the pros. Number 1. Miniature schnauzers are highly intelligent. On the basis of a dog's intelligence, 131 dog breeds were assessed, and ranked, by more than 200 expert dog obedience judges. According to the outcome, the miniature schnauzer was ranked as the 12th most intelligent breed. Well, I don't know about you, but in my opinion, making the list of the top dozen most intelligent dog breeds, is impressive. Again, of the three schnauzer breeds, the miniature schnauzer is actually ranked the most intelligent. This takes us to number 2. Miniature schnauzers are easy to train. Needless to say, this is partly due to their high intelligence, which makes them quick learners. Additionally, miniature schnauzers are easy to train, because they are willing to please their owners. Keep in mind though, that due to their high intelligence level, they tend to become bored easily with repetitive training, so it's important to be creative and make training fun. Plus, as mentioned earlier, most miniature schnauzers excel in obedience training, and many have won top awards at the highest levels, of obedience competitions. Nevertheless, despite their quick learning ability, they need to know at an early age that they are not in charge. Therefore, it's important to start obedience training as soon as your pup is home, and establish your role as the pack leader. Number 3. Miniature schnauzers form strong ties with their human family. While miniature schnauzers' personalities can vary from dog to dog, what does not vary is that they typically form close bonds with their human family. The breed looks forward to spending time with their humans. Additionally, while miniature schnauzers adore all members of their family, they have a tendency to have a closer attachment with one fortunate person, which is usually their owner. Because of this, they tend to follow their owners from room to room, and can get anxious, if they are left alone for a long time. Number 4. Miniature Schnauzers are adaptable. The breed is generally happy, regardless of whether they live in a rural area with large backyards, or in an apartment in a big city. Plus, due to their small size, which is no more than 11 to 20 pounds, they do well in much smaller spaces like a flat, or a bachelor pad. The breed is generally happy, as long as they are with their human family, have enough room to run around, and get enough exercise. Number 5. Miniature Schnauzers are excellent watchdogs. As stated earlier, miniature schnauzers were first created to work alongside farmers as ratters, and to protect farmland. Therefore, they have strong territorial instincts, making them loyal, courageous, and eager to defend their family, and possessions. The breed is more likely to bark than bite though, and will sound the alarm, if strangers approach your home. And because they are suspicious, they have a tendency to bark relentlessly at strangers, until their owner welcomes them, at which point, they usually become very friendly. Plus, because of their fearless attitude, when you take them outside, you must supervise their interactions with other dogs. This is because their lack of fear, also means they may take on larger dogs. Number 6. Miniature Schnauzers Barely Shed. Miniature Schnauzers come with a wiry double coat that sheds less than most other breeds, making them suitable for allergy sufferers. 
However, keep in mind that as per the American Kennel Club, no dog is 100% hypoallergenic. Some dogs just simply do better with allergy sufferers, and the miniature schnauzer is one of them. Number 7. A miniature schnauzer will be your new best friend. The main purpose of miniature schnauzers is to fit in with their families and participate in family gatherings and activities. Your miniature schnauzer will enjoy going on hiking, boating, or camping trips with you, going on vacations with you, and running errands with you. On the other hand, they will be content just to sit and watch you cook, garden, and do chores. The breed's only desire is to be with you. Needless to say, a mini schnauzer can be the perfect exercise buddy, best friend, travel partner, and companion pet, all in one. We have now covered the pros. Feel free to let us know if we missed any major ones in the comment section below. And by the way, thanks for watching to this point. Please stay with us, as we will now cover the cons of owning a miniature schnauzer. Number 1. Some miniature schnauzers are excessive barkers. This makes them great watchdogs, but some miniature schnauzers will throw a fit by barking excessively and aggressively when other people or animals approach their territory. This yappy behavior it's not amusing, and if you don't stop it, your mini schnauzer will not only become suspicious of everyone, but he will also become a nuisance or an annoyance to you and any nearby neighbors. Needless to say, one of the first things you will need to teach a miniature schnauzer is to bark on command, followed by teaching him to be quiet on command. Having said that, you must never discipline your dog for barking, instead, praise your dog when he obeys his commands. This takes us to number two. Miniature schnauzers require adequate training and socialization. Both are crucial factors that will help tame your miniature schnauzers' suspicious and bold behaviors. Therefore, early and ongoing training and socialization are a must for this breed. So first, from an early age, you need to start obedience training. This shouldn't be difficult, because of what we discussed earlier, about their intelligence and willingness to please. But keep in mind that when it comes to training, the importance of consistency, positive reinforcement, praise, and reward cannot be overstated. All of these are the building blocks of a successful training regimen, not punishment or yelling. Second, from an early age, you must introduce them to a variety of people, pets, sounds, and environments. This should also not be difficult, because they enjoy traveling and spending time with their humans. With the right socialization and training, your miniature schnauzer will become a well-rounded obedient dog who is less suspicious and gets along well with people and other animals. Number 3. They require a moderate amount of exercise and mental stimulation. Remember, they were originally bred as farm dogs and ratters, which included chasing, so they are active dogs that need a lot of exercise. Generally, they require at least an hour of exercise every day, whether it be walking, jogging, running around freely in a fenced yard, playing fetch, participating in dog sports, or other activities. All these will provide your dog with both physical and mental stimulation. Remember to keep your mini schnauzer on a leash or in a fenced-in area when you take him outside to play. This is because the breed has a strong prey drive, so when it gets the chance, it will chase what it perceives to be a prey. Furthermore, to keep their minds and bodies active when indoors, you'll also need to provide them with a variety of toys and enough indoor space for them to run around. Miniature schnauzers who aren't given enough mental and physical stimulation can develop destructive behaviors like chewing and digging in order to release built-up energy. Number 4. Miniature schnauzers require regular grooming. Even though the mini schnauzer's wiry coat doesn't shed much, it needs a lot of care. Their coat, eyebrows, and beard require frequent brushing and combing to remove dead hair in order to avoid knots and tangles. Especially the beard, which needs to be cleaned every day to get rid of any food that may get stuck in it. Moreover, clipping their coat every four to six weeks is recommended to keep it looking healthy. Plus clipping makes their coat easier to care for. Their other grooming needs are typically those of most dogs, a bath when they get smelly, brushing their teeth regularly, and trimming their nails every month. 
Also check their eyes and ears for signs of infection, or excess wax, and clean them when needed. If their upkeep becomes too overwhelming, you can opt to take them to a professional groomer at times, but I wouldn't recommend taking them all the time. In my humble opinion, I think most dogs generally prefer DIY grooming, plus it is a nice way to bond with your pet. Begin grooming sessions when they are puppies to get them used to it. Plus, enticing them with treats, and including a nice body massage in each grooming session, will go a long way. Number 5. Miniature schnauzers are prone to a few health issues. They are prone to a number of hereditary health issues that affect a high percentage of the breed. The most prevalent is bladder stone disease, which is especially critical for males and can cause complete urinary blockage, which is life-threatening. Next, there are eye diseases, like cataracts and progressive retinal atrophy, which can lead to blindness. Obesity is another significant health issue for the breed, as it can cause joint and back issues, digestive disorders, and heart disease. Plus, the breed is susceptible to oily skin, which is notorious for attracting odors and dirt. That's another reason why their beard must be kept clean. Plus, the breed is prone to other skin issues such as cysts and warts, which can be a nuisance when grooming them. Needless to say, a high-quality low-calorie diet, regular exercise, keeping up with their vaccinations, and other routine visits to the vet, are very important for a miniature schnauzer's health and well-being. If their overall well-being is not neglected, a miniature schnauzer can live a comfortable life well into his senior years. Keep in mind that reputable breeders test for certain health problems, so if you're buying instead of adopting, talk to the breeder about any possible health issues that could be passed down. Are you a pet parent to a miniature schnauzer? Would you like to add to our pros and cons list? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.